Brandon, you need a lot of parking for him? That's right, we are. All right. And we pray in the great God in the name of Jesus. Come to us and say thank you for all. Today we thank you, Father, for all the Another meeting that you allowed us all to attend. Father, I want to tell you thank you. Thank you, Father, for those who repeated in attendance, those who have the desire to be here, for some reason they are not. Lord, above it all, you know all about it. You're leaning and trusting and depending on you and your word. Take the lead of our mind and carry us through this meeting and help us to make the right decision that you will be pleased with. Realize we can't please everybody, but we're going to do the thing that's right for the entire county. Lord bless us. And may we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, we do have note that uh, Mr. Anderson is absent and since it is his family, we wish him his family the best. Uh, next would be the approval of the uh, November 16, 2021 Law Enforcement Committee meeting. I make that motion. The motion. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Reports. Animal control. I don't have anything to add uh, to the report unless you guys have some questions. However, I would like to thank the Sheriff's Department. They uh, have helped us out in a couple situations and have been uh, really good about checking on our department and making sure we don't need anything. Any questions for animal control? Thank you so much. Uh, Sheriff's report. They came late or something. <laughs> I'm going to do the house. Do you have any questions? Uh, the Beckett County Sheriff's Park in the month of November patrolled 53,224 miles that month, served 740 warrants, 358 arrests. Um, I think in the month of November there was 393 that were processed into the Beckett County Jail. Um, if anybody wants me to break it down more, I can. Uh, Speaking of the jail, we served in November 22,929 meals. <clears throat> Must have been running a special at 63 cents a meal. <laughs> uh, we took in 11,936 dollars and 62 cents in our courtrooms. For security, uh, in the month of November, there was 1,389 on the docket. It looks like like 10 people having 2,000 in the courtrooms in the month of November, so they were pretty active. It's obviously slowed down this month because of the holidays, but uh, November was definitely busy. Uh, the drug task force is kind of a, I guess what I would call a light report. One thing it is uh, get, getting into the holidays, uh, this is November, as well as they are one or two officers short. And of course, that's about a third of their force. Uh, our, ours is still in there. The Shelby Police Department is, but I, I think, I'm not sure if it's Lewisburg or Marshall County, I think it's got one, maybe both of them. Got officers of it out. Uh, but they did, uh, in November, they did 11 investigations. They involved crystal meth or ice, marijuana. That was the main two things. Of the people that were uh, investigated or arrested, whatever, there were six that were previously convicted felons. 
three of whom were on supervised felony parole. Uh, so obviously they're not learning their lessons. Uh, and that, that was pretty much the long and short of the drug task force. So that's pretty much my report. I, I was telling Adam just a minute ago, we've got a female officer that is graduating from the Law Enforcement Academy tomorrow. And it will be sending three, I guess in January after the holidays, that we've got three that will be going to the Law Enforcement Academy in Dawson. So it's a constant thing. That's fantastic. Where were you teaching? Where were you teaching? Any questions? Yeah. May report. We submitted our report. I don't have anything else to add uh, to what we had to report. Uh, just some of the things that uh, gone on. Of course, we had a little weather that passed through. Uh, I'm pretty sure down there, Ross area, that had some uh, damage. Uh, fortunately, it, it started there uh, and created quite a bit more damage as it moved through uh, Moore County and Cotton County. Uh, but they uh, did have some property damage. And some trees and so forth so we appreciate that but we have we did open a uh, shelter at the courthouse uh, this last round we had we did have uh, seven or eight adults and about three or four children uh, that came down so uh, anything to make them feel a little bit better I understand some are from the Unionville area and some are from this in the city of Chival whatever mobile home goes so uh, we offered them a place to go. So that's, the, that's all I have unless there's any other questions. Did you have a notice in this report that uh, the school disaster parents program did several of those drills at different schools this last month? Yeah, this last okay. month and the first part of this yeah, month, yes. Right. But anyway, um, <clears throat> one thing that the uh, prosecutor did not want to take up at Monday night. We determined that there was no handicap ramps to get them on. When when you're out there on the main street going right there, the sidewalks are there, there's no handicap ramp. Now around the school, they have them with the ramps out there on the street. They don't, and we, I don't know if we own that property or if the city owns that property. Well, you need to make inquiries probably to the maintenance folks and yeah. the school system to it, 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 determine. It, 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 it's a simple fix, but yeah, I don't know who's that's the first I heard of it. Yeah. Sure, Dr. Garrett. Ooh, you'll make yeah. a report. We, 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 yeah. we, and myself and Mark are on that uh, team that go out and do the drills and assessments and things like that. And, and we do make notes and, and suggestions that things would see. It was brought to Mark said uh, uh, we'll, we'll bring that up. Uh, he is correct. That we're at the streets at the crossings at the streets is where we don't have a, a wheelchair or handicap access uh, where, where it drops down so you can uh, push a wheelchair or something like that. We did have some children that were uh, uh, physically had to ride in a wagon during the evacuation so they had to be helped over uh, those areas a little curb to get on, back onto the sidewalks. That's that's what he's talking about. It, it is at the corner of the public intersections. That's the value of uh, doing the drills and yeah. assessing the properties to find this out. So that's right. and, and one of the things we do is we we uh, have a, a maintenance guy uh, from schools with us now. So that helps too if we have, uh, we, like we have a lockdown drill, uh, we have a door that won't close all the way. That's been reported right then. Uh, he's making a note of that to get those things fixed. So that, that's been a plus for us. Uh, I know it. Probably Mark can say too. But we've been out on, on several ones that, you know, simple things like that can be taken care of pretty quick. So it's been a plus. We've done we've done several, um, but uh, it, it is all worth it. I'm sure we'll do more. We're working well with uh, the school system and their safety folks, uh, making sure that they're doing what they should do as far as the state goes, and we're helping. 
It includes everything on the um, campus. It's on the yeah. campus, yes, ma'am. We go. We do everything from um, fire uh, fire drills where they evacuate the building. We do lockdowns, intruder into buildings. Uh, we try to trick them. Uh, we had a lockdown. We pulled the fire alarm one time just to see if anybody would come out. The sheriff will tell you in a lot of cases of active shooters, that's one of the things that they do. So we try to trick them. We'll bang on the door and tell them, it's all right, come on out. Uh, we're trying to give them in the habit. A lot of times they'll get on the announce, get on the announcement and say, it's all clear, all y'all can come out. Well, that's that's not good practice. We like to unlock the doors and things like that and let them out so they'll know that somebody that's got a key is, is coming to let them out. Uh, so we, we, we try uh, some uh, maybe not so fair things, but for the, for the best. We want to make sure that uh, you know everybody's kind of in the, on the right on the right page. And those things, I guess, would come from lessons learned and best practices as you go to trainings and they talk about where these events actually do happen, where they found those type situations. So again, that's the value of training and everybody working together uh, and staying up on national standards and best practices for how right. we do it. So do you know if um, maintenance is busy that day and looking into that already? I don't know. I'm going, to talk, I'm going to talk to the city manager because it sounds like it's at the street level. Yeah. So I'll, I'm going to make I'll make a call there tomorrow or not tomorrow Monday uh, and uh, ask them to evaluate it too. And if everybody's focused on it, we ought to be able to get it resolved. And and the principal said that she was going to recontact with the yeah. city also. Okay. I, I don't know if, if she actually did that. We'll, we'll follow up on two weeks. Anything else? Uh, yeah, about five or six. Um, those wagons. They pull those those little wagons. Hey, that's what it is. And most of them are fold up time. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want to fold but up. I mean, they they did great. I, I was really impressed with the groups. They did a good job. And sometimes they use those to put their the amount. I know when it I was in the that was one of the neat things. I saw skirts. There's 625 kids there, and one teacher knows every one of them by now. First and last year, the parents was I was impressed that she learned wow. her name in a matter wow. of 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but, that's, you know, that's well, pretty impressive. Yeah, I don't think I do it. I call my kids the wrong name. <laughs> <Yeah, that's laughs> <the answer. laughs> I do. Call my kids. I don't remember my name. All right, any other questions? Uh, I don't believe she's here, but her report's there. It looks like it was a little bit of a light month, but I'm, I've not been briefed on any particular anomaly for the month. Uh, probation. He is out of town. Again, uh, I think his report's in here. He certainly spoke with me over the phone about, uh, and again, I'm not aware of any unusual uh, activities for them uh, for the month. And, and when they're back, certainly, if there's anything specific that jumps out at you, we can, we can have a talk more about it.